All right, guys, we're going to check out a very cool Maritoc watch and a couple of tools from Countycom. So big thanks to Mike over at Countycom for hooking me up with all this stuff. He had watched a video that I did on a stainless steel version of this watch, and he reached out to me and said, hey, man, I work for Countycom. I can hook you up with some of this stuff. So obviously, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. So that's what we did. So um, let's talk about a couple of cool, the tools real quick, and then we'll get into the watch. So one thing I've actually started using versus just like regular cheap pens I had laying around, one of the uh, awesome items that he sent over, which is more for EDC, but I don't know, man, just regular use. It's awesome. It's an aluminum made in the USA pen and uh, has the uh, charged cartridge inside that you can change out. They're anodized. There's a few different colors. These are like, uh, let me look it up here. The pen is $39.95, but they're a limited amount. I, a lot of the items they make are actually limited. I think pretty much all of their items, they only make so many and then they move on to another cycle. So that's really cool. I've been using that. And the tools were gifted to me, full disclosure, the tools that Mike actually gave me, the watch he did not. Um, another cool thing, titanium wrench. This is the three inch. They also have a four inch one. This guy's $39.95. Mike, if you're watching this, I need a titanium adjustable wrench, like a seven or eight inch one. I don't know if you guys can make that happen, but I would buy it. A titanium full size adjustable wrench would be freaking awesome to add into my toolkit. I That's probably the most used tool of that and some channel locks that I use on my day job. I would love to have a titanium one. I could easily take a couple of those if you have them. There's patches there. There's a ton of stuff. I'll put a link in the description to their website. If you go there to buy one thing, I guarantee you you're going to buy a bunch of other things. They have a lot of cool, uh, like, just tools that you didn't think you need you needed, but I think once you get them, you'll find use for them. Here's a little pry tool. So there's going to be a ton of different uses for this. They even kind of mentioned in the um, article for this one, potentially even using it to help assist with some uh, field gunsmithing. Not gunsmithing, but you know, uh, working on your firearm or whatever you have going on. This is just a nice little tool. It's titanium. It's super light. They're like nine bucks. So this would easily end up in my EDC bag. Yes, I have an EDC bag. I don't really talk about it, but it is loaded up with gear. Both these items are going in there for sure. These things. I didn't know I needed these until I saw them. Um, this one's a fancy Trident one, but they have regular square ones. They're actually pretty cheap. This one's pretty cool. Um, I, I forget the price. I don't remember the price on them. They sell them. I would probably buy the blanks. But they mentioned, like, say you travel and you go to hotels, hang this on your hotel door, and it glows super bright, and it gl glows for a long time. So you can use it for marking a trail. You could use it, tie it to something. So if you drop it or something, it's easier to find. But they had mentioned something about hanging this from the hotel door handle. So if there's an emergency, power's out or something like that, you can see where the door handle is because it's you're not familiar with that environment, so you can actually see it genius idea for those and you'll see when i do the loom shot on this the loom is awesome on the watch it's insane on those little markers very cool all right let's get into the watch because there's a ton of tools definitely go check it out so looking at a full titanium watch here this is a grade five titanium on the the watch and the bracelet they ship it on this the reason they ship it on this is because when you open up the box you can put it right on your wrist and you're good to go it's a single pass nylon strap nylon keeper if I'm ever going to wear a nylon strap, I prefer it this way. I don't really care the double up NATO and everything like that. It's nice and simple and effective and it works. So, but I did throw the bracelet on. They have a disclaimer. They want you to have a professional install the bracelet or just do it yourself if you're slightly competent. There are screw links in it, uh, you know, kind of a stamped out titanium class for micro adjust. Just snaps down and then it has the fold over keeper. Pretty standard affair there. Um, 100 meter water resist, screw down case back, and a screw down crown. I'm surprised it doesn't have 200 meter water resist. I'm not sure why it has 100, but it's 100 meter. Um, I'm sure it could probably do more, but no one's ever going to really test that anyway. Has the Seiko NH35 movement on it. There is a date or a no date, and both of them are at $425. They're only making 250 of these. Sapphire single domed crystal. How do I know that? See the distortion on it? If you have a double dome sapphire crystal, you won't have that distortion. So there's pros and cons to that. It's nice to kind of see uh, different crystals used. So this one's plenty fine. 
uh, C3X1 loom all over this thing. It's going to be crazy loom. I jumped way ahead of myself. I, I think I messed myself up because we talked about the tools first. I know we're like five minutes in. Let's talk about the watch size. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got excited with the tools. 40 millimeter case, 47 lug to lug. You can see a dramatic turn down on the lugs, drilled lugs. 14 millimeter thick, but that's including the dome sapphire. 20 millimeter lug width bracelet is non-tapering, 20 millimeter. Six and a half millimeter screw down crown. And with the bracelet, it weighs 122 grams. Basically, I'm not 100% sure on the figures, but basically if you were to separate the watch from the bracelet, cut that weight in half. Half that weights the watch, half that weights the bracelet. But 122 grams total with the bracelet, not sized. And I read on their website that the bracelet is large enough for up to a nine inch wrist. If you need extra links, you can buy extra links. I don't know anybody that would need extra links on a nine inch bracelet. That's a, a very large wrist. And I'll do a wrist shot here in a little bit on my seven and a quarter. 120 click bezel, not a bad action for titanium bezel on titanium case. In case you're not aware, typically that has a weird feel to it because everything's so light, but this one feels pretty good. So the, uh, again, even the threads on titanium sometimes can be tricky. Nice little pop to it. Of course, you're going to be able to wind. This is obviously the no date, but it has the NH35. So you're going to have your ghost, like right there, I'm in the date position, but there is no date. So you can go all the way out. That's going to hack the movement, stop the second hand, and then you can adjust your time. You do have a blacked out handset here, but there's tons of real estate for loom. Now, I didn't back up and catch the thread on that. I just threaded that right in. I happen to do pretty good with that. If we zoom in, you're going to see a nice pop of orange on there. Most of the seconds hand is orange with the tail being black. You have your trident up there. Water resistance, 10 atmos or 100 meters. You have your minute tracker on the outside and then a bunch of hashes printed on the dial. And you have a crazy amount of real estate for that C3X1 loom which this thing is going to be a loom monster. You can see the AR coating there as well. See it pop into play there? It is AR coated on the bottom side. I know I'm probably speed talking here, guys. I'm sorry. There's the case back. Just an overall really well done everyday type watch. Now, a few people, I had heard the comments about um, some sharp edges. Yeah, I mean, some of the edges are kind of sharp. Not like cut you sharp, just like that's the way it was machined. Here's the watch I was wearing. I was wearing another titanium watch all day today. I love titanium watches, guys. So let's pop this guy on the wrist. I did not size it, but like I said, it wouldn't be that difficult. It does have screw links. There you can see it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Titanium is always kind of warm, comfortable feeling on wrist. It doesn't like pull a bunch of heat from your wrist. So it's not like stainless steel sometimes where it feels really cold or really hot. Titanium is going to be way more neutral. It's just the, uh, the science, I guess. All right, let's, I want to do a couple things here real quick. I want to show it next to a Seiko SKX, so you have some sort of size comparison. It's going to look a lot smaller. The lug-to-lug -lug is a little bit longer, so it's going to wear really good on wrists that typically, you know, you wouldn't wear a 40 millimeter watch. You can pull this off if you're used to like a 42 like I am, because the lug-to-lug -lug is like a 47, I think it's still going to work really good for you, especially on bracelet. But also with a smaller wrist, 40 by 47 is kind of a sweet spot. And then being lightweight, titanium, you're going to have no problem there. Now, I'm not even going to charge it. It's just been under the studio lights. Let's kill the lights. Let's check the loom on this. Also, as we're looking at the loom, Mike was generous enough to offer up a discount code for the viewers of this video. I'll put the information down in the description. But it's all one word, capital R's, random Rob all one word, should net you a 10% off. I'm not sure if that's on every item. So give it a try let me know what works in the comments. But you can see how good the loom is. Just, it's very good guys. I mean, here it is like next to the SKX. It's better than the SKX. Like I've said many times, C3X1 loom on the micro brands is better than stock Seiko loom. And check out this marker. These markers are legit. I'm not sure how long it lasts. I need to test that, but I could easily see adding some of these to my everyday carry kit. You never know when you're going to need to mark a trail or just, you know, like this has a little um, Q 
keychain type thing on it. So if you ever drop anything, I, I almost never drop anything to lose it, but I know some people that do, this thing might save you some time looking for something. All right, guys, thanks, Mike, over at Countycom, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next vid.